Hi, um, this is Nima and Rostam, obviously. And um, I wanted to show you all this awesome uh, thing that we are subscribed to called the Magic Bean Club. Really fun. It's really fun. Uh, my friend Chris Sand, a musician who many of you know, uh, also no known as Sandman, the rapping cowboy, uh, has a new children's album um, called Magic Beans, and it is fantastic. I mean, a singular children's album, unlike anything you will have ever heard. It's funny, it's smart, um, has a lot of important and radical things to say. Uh, it blends hip hop and folk and lots of different everything. music styles, everything. And a lot of different things, too. It's true. We had the good fortune of getting to hear the songs as they were being written and recorded, so... Very, very good. <laughs> For example, exactly. Uh, songs like Cow Cow Mama Cow. Yeah. Um, we have been singing as bedtime stories for the past, I don't know, four years. Rostam, would you like to demonstrate a, a verse of Cow Cow with me? Sure. Cow, 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 mama, cow, mama had a calf. Calf love mama, she made her mama laugh. Yeah, cow, cow, mama, cow, mama, cow, mama, cow, cow. Cow, cow, mama, cow, cow, mama, cow. Some of the, most of those are somewhat like that. Yeah, there's a but lot. But some of them are different. Yeah, but like, some, yeah. Like oh. what? Some of them, uh. Well, some of them are like that. Some of them have sort of a different perspective. Hmm. Yeah. Well said. Uh, you should check it out. It's fantastic. Anyway, so Chris also has, once again, Magic Bean Club, which um, is just this awesome. awesome letter that comes in the mail every once a month that's sort of full of wonder and about the magic, not just the magic of childhood, um, sort of the magic of screen-free, off-the-screen childhood, but it's also just about the magic of life, um, you know, for adults of, of wonder and magic. Did I say magic twice? Yeah, you okay, did. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so anyway, let's use my trusty uh, llama uh, letter opener. Rustam, would you like to um, open the letter here? You want to do it? Slide it in here and then open it up. And while he does that, I'll tell you the story of the llama letter opener that my friend... Alana Joy bought for me one time after I got too close to a llama and the llama spit in my face. <laughs> yes, yeah. girls and boys, I can do it. Here, you hold this. All right. Okay, thank you. Uh, just don't hit the red button because that's the record button. All right. Yes, boys and girls, uh, the lesson you want to learn from that is if a llama looks at you like this, it's probably going to spit in your face. Thank you for the demonstration, Rostam. Oops, I'm trying to cut through paper. It's a good thing I didn't have you do it because there's tape on the top. Oh, oh actually, that's why I couldn't do it. That's, yeah, it makes it a little harder, exactly. Like, why is this paper so hard? There you go. Okay, so once again, here you hold it for a second, Rowie, and I will take out the things and lay them out so everybody can... Oh, oh no, I think bean down. So, bean first down. of all... Why is, it, why is it called Magic Bean Club? I mean, are there really beans? Yeah, there's beans in the letter. This week's bean appears to be... A bean. <laughs> this week's bean appears to be a bean. It appears to be a bean. Um, oh, would you get the dream hatchery from um, your bedroom? You know what I'm um, talking about? Yes. It's in your desk on the right-hand side. So there are instructions and stickers for making... Oh, my gosh. Um, for making a bean hatchery for the Magic Bean Club, which is like every week. So your beans, not only do you get beans, but, oh, there we go. Here is our, wait, show the, show the, oh, there we go. You can either way There's show the. The cool top, it is upside down right now because, well, because of screens. <laughs> and, <laughs> and this is where you keep the beans that you, that you got and, let me hold it for a bit of a Okay, thank you. Right, oh, well, you can't change the view while we're recording, unfortunately. Right. You just got to keep moving it around. But yeah, it's okay. I'll try. I'll you direct, and I'll try to be the camera person. So there's beans and some sort of like, like sort of souvenirs. Like yeah. there's this Chinese coin. Yeah, I came one. There's this flower. Mm hmm. And Ooh, that's a Girl Scout badge. Yeah. So yeah, so trinkets come, and then pull out the crystals so they can see how the beans are um, crystal charged which is part of the magic. Yeah. What magic, you might ask? I don't know. You have to find out for yourself. That is the beauty of Magic Bean Club. Okay, that's not, so that's not all of it. This week, 
we um, were fortunate since we got in early. Unfortunately, those of you who have not yet joined the Magic Bean Club, I think might not get this. You might have to buy your own copy. But um, since we got in on the ground floor, and this is, I think, month six or seven, we got a copy of his new album, as I was just describing. So um, the full title is 16 Songs for Sprouting Children and Other Human Beans. I am a sprout. <laughs> exactly. Um, and uh, yeah, and then on the back is the track listing. Um, I'll mention just a few other incredible songs. I'm a big fan of the acapella, Baby Hulk Hogan. Baby Hulk Hogan, I love you. Baby Hulk Hogan, yes I do. Baby Hulk Hogan, I want to snuggle and cuddle and wrestle with you. That's right, that's what it is. Good memory, Rowie. Um, uh, Scary Fairy Girl is pretty incredible. They're all really good. Ally Alligator is excellent. Yes. Ally Alligator. Ally Ally you. And. Eat some mashed potatoes with a yes. And Cow Cow Mama Cow is one of the best. That may be. That may be our favorite. Oh, this one is individually signed by Chris. And I haven't mentioned Stevie Chasm Sand, which is ridiculous of me. So this is. Chris is the, the adult uh, who recorded the album and made the project but stevie's got her fingerprints his daughter stevie um who is stevie are you 11 years old now 10 i might have that wrong yeah i'm sorry if i got your age wrong stevie i don't think so either but it might be 10 or 11 all right well stevie will tell us um (laughs) anyway uh so yeah so and then they also make all these wonderful posts um Oh, with a bunch of different things in it, like some news, some things about, well, like stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about the um, posts they make online that, Rostan, you probably don't see as often as I do. I don't, I don't. No, but so, and um, stories about uh, things that are happening in the world, things that are happening in their lives, important holidays that you may or may not be aware are happening. The most recent one was about, so they're in Montana. Um, Missoula, Montana, uh, in the region of the Salish and Kootenai uh, tribes. And there was recently, the, his last post was about um, some land that uh, came back into the ownership of the Salish and Kootenai and a celebration, an event that had happened that he and Stevie went to. It was really interesting. Most of them are interesting like that. Almost it's, all of them. They're all, exactly. And then also there's sort of a newsletter that comes. Yeah. Actually, for Persian New Year, he talked about Persian New Year and mentioned Rostam and I, which we appreciated. Um, I'm noticing that the trinket for this um, month is this little spade, and I won't read this whole newsletter because it's long. Oh, there's an, oh yeah, last week a card game started. Card game that I do not fully understand yet, but I think the way it works. slow poke. Oh, that's right. I can't believe you remember what the card game is called. I have good memory. You have a really good memory. So the card game's called slow poke. This week, the card is, I think, is that a corgi? I'm, they, I'm bad about dogs. Hold on, there's a little piece of sticky. I'm just trying to get that off. Corgi with a J on it. J for Jack, because it is a, a Jack. It's a J corgi. All right, there's a sticky out that I can't get off. But anyway, um, so yeah, so eventually we will be able to play a game called Slowpoke that I bet will be fun. Um, there are. It, it, it's going to be fun. You have to admit. I do have to admit. Um, coloring pages. Uh, that are all, so this is, a, they're coloring pages that have the lyrics, most of them have the lyrics to songs from the new album. Um, and they're just generally great. Where is, is there a sticker? There's also these incredible stickers. So the artist that did the album cover, whose name I don't remember, but it's going to be here in the um, newsletter. So you can see the same this wonderful art. Sort of like brings you into this world that Chris has created um, and is really pretty pretty terrific. Oh yeah, so here, as I pointed out, Chris has included um, a paragraph about Pacific Islander and Asian Heritage Month. We're Asian American, we're not Pacific Islanders, but we are Asian Heritage, had West Asian, right? Had no idea that- Iranian, really. We're Iranian, thank you. I had no idea that this was Asian Heritage Month. Did you know? I did, I definitely did. Do they talk about it at school? No, I just know because I know things. This is the kind of person he is. (laughs) Uh, okay, um, and also, let's see, what does he say? We leave you with this mother-themed poem by the great Chinese-American poet Li Young Li, who currently lives with his family in Chicago. And the poem's called, I Ask My Mother to Sing. 
And you know what? I'm going to read you this poem as uh, the end of our. of our video about Magic Bean Club. Unless, do you want to read it? Um. Okay, we're going to alternate. She begins and my grandmother joins her. Mother and daughter sing like young girls. And my father, we're alive. Oh, if my father were alive, he would play his accordion and sway like a boat. I've never been in Peking or the Summer Palace, nor stood on the great stone boat to watch the rain begin on Kunming Lake. The picnickers are running away in the grass. But I love to hear it sung, how the water lilies fill with rain until they overturn, spilling water into water, then rock back and fill with more. Both women have begun to cry, but neither stops her song. And then it says, until June, love Sandman and Stevie. So, you know, it's like, if, for me as a parent in this world raising children, it's so lovely to have this infusion month after month no. of... And it seems, it's just fun. Seems like Rostam agrees. Uh, you know, of creativity, um, of love for humankind. Uh, there's the music, because Chris is a musician. There's all 